Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is healing the ozone layer. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. World Ozone Day, celebrated on the 16th of September every year, marks the importance of protecting the ozone layer, which shields the earth from harmful ultraviolet rays. The theme for 2025, From Science to Global Action, focuses on the role science played in alerting the world about ozone depletion and the collaborative global efforts to restore it. The World Meteorological Organization reports that the ozone layer is healing, with the ozone hole in 2024 being smaller than in previous years, on track to return to 1980 levels by mid-century. Now let's discuss about the ozone layer. The ozone layer, located 15 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface in the stratosphere, is crucial for life on Earth. It absorbs the sun's ultraviolet UV radiation, especially UVB, which can cause skin cancer, cataracts, and harm marine life. Without it, life as we know it would not be sustainable. The ozone layer has been undergoing slow recovery due to global actions like the Montreal Protocol and recent amendments like the Kigali Amendment. Now let's talk about the Montreal Protocol. The Montreal Protocol, adopted in 1987, is the world's most successful international environmental treaty. It aims to phase out substances that deplete the ozone layer, such as chlorofluorocarbons, halons, and other harmful chemicals. The protocol was a breakthrough in environmental diplomacy and one of the rare treaties to achieve universal ratification. It has led to the elimination of many ozone-depleting substances, thus contributing to the restoration of the ozone layer and helping mitigate climate change. Now let's discuss about Kigali Amendment and India's leadership. In 2016, the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol was adopted to phase down hydrofluorocarbons, which are potent greenhouse gases. India has been at the forefront of these initiatives, having already phased out harmful substances like CFC and halons ahead of the Montreal Protocol schedule. The country has also implemented the India Cooling Action Plan to reduce cooling demand, energy consumption, and refrigerant demand by 2037 to 38. Now lastly, moving on to conclusion. World Ozone Day serves as a reminder of the importance of global cooperation in tackling environmental challenges. The recovery of the ozone layer demonstrates that when nations work together based on scientific evidence, real progress can be made. India's commitment to phasing out ozone-depleting substances and its proactive policies are a testament to how countries can lead by example in ensuring a safer and healthier planet for future generations. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about ozone layer. 1. The ozone layer is located in the mesosphere about 50 to 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface. 2. The Montreal Protocol was adopted in 1987 to phase out ozone-depleting substances like CFC and halons. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.